Hello guys, Ali here. How are you doing? It's time for another series on the channel, which means it's time for another game. This time round, I'm quite excited to be cracking open two things. My brain, and a game that I've been quite excited to try out for some time now. This game is called State of Mind. A number of things have attracted me to this game for quite some time since it was released in 2018. Chief among which is the graphic style, which I think is quite attractive, and the conversation within the game, which from what I've read is kind of circled around the likes of uh, transhumanism and simulated realities, things like this, and uh, I'm assuming the merits on both of those when it comes to solutions to, um, you know, environmental destruction, resource overshoot, illness, and perhaps even human mortality itself. Above all though, I seem to remember reading somewhere some time ago that the game itself, uh, it really gets the player to challenge themselves and their core values on these type of things. Here's hoping that the writing itself holds up to, you know, the same kind of quality of conversation when it comes to progressing through the story, so I got my fingers really crossed for that. Anyway, State of Mind itself is developed by Daedalic Games, I think I'm saying that right. And that studio is a bit of a darling in the indie development and publishing world. So I've got high hopes for this one. And as I said before, uh, the game was released in 2018. As an aside, uh, this series on the channel marks the beginning of ramping up video releases on the channel. From today, you're going to see two video releases per day on the channel. Of course, uh, kind of ramping up from one that I've been doing for the past month now. Some of the games that I'm planning to tackle as, as we move forward will probably be long runners. And I do have the means to kind of ramp up my video productivity, so I thought, why not? But that's enough from me. Um, I've been dying to get into this game for a couple of years now, so let's get cracking. Enjoy the show. Berlin, 2048. I'm really liking the feel so far. Kind of Blade Runner-esque with a little bit of Deus Ex in there maybe. Although the robotics, that doesn't quite fit into any of them, does it? He's too high.
That's Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with the voice. The voice? Sounds like a news outlet. Mr. Nolan? Richard, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the central hospital. Can you open your eyes? I can't see anything. He's... Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. He sounds like... A drone found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. I'll create a glowing object in the room now. Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Good. Again. Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're going to do some tests. Cognitive, emotional, memory. It won't take long. Do you know what date it is? Uh, oh, I forgot. <laughs> uh, 2048, yes. I'm assuming that's the only one with the correct year, so. Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Sounds like Geralt of Revia from Witcher. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue. My hair is brown. My house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Blue, white, and brown? Just not in that order. Good, that's right. Can you tell me what happened? What? What happened? My family. Where are they? You can't remember anything? A uh, car accident. In a car, there was a tunnel. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. Oh. Uh, unpleasant, isn't it? Yikes. Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. Berlin Central Hospital. Okay. Well, I can examine the doctor, so I will examine him. Identified. Timothy Keller, ID 210788, Sector 7, Berlin. Neurologist, Central Clinics, Berlin. Okay. Take the cube from the left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. I want to look at this first. Just let me look at this. Uh, encephalo? Encephalo scan? Last scanned person, Nolan Richard. That's me. ID 12044. This number is longer than mine. Yeah, damn it. Scan report ended. Okay. Examine this. Cognition test. This test will help evaluate your cognitive abilities. Please concentrate and follow the instructions given by our clinic personnel. Alright. He wants me to move it from one end to the other, right? Okay. Put it down. Okay. We shall do one more test. Please follow me. Okay. I'm liking these sort of stylized people in this. Okay. Who is this? Um, I may not have been paying attention to the. In I mean, I watched the intro, but I might not have been paying attention because I don't actually know. 
Uh, son, I know I have a son, but I don't, and he's very gifted, apparently. But I don't know if this is him. I can't quite remember. I didn't get to see him very much, so... Uh, my son? Sure. It's my son? Exactly. Phew! What's his name? That would have made me a very bad... I have no idea. Um... Jason? It has to be, right? Jason, think carefully. Okay, it was not Jason. John. Now everybody's called John. Go for James. James. Very good. Yay. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard? He's a good kid. Do you know this person? If that's not my wife... Um... Yes? My wife? That's... Tracy? Excellent. Whew! Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, anything. I know that we were... were in a cab. It was night time. We were choking around and I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The... Uh, onboard systems were malfunctioning. It... it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. It's not 2048, is it? Was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? <laughs> hmm. It's not the clinic, because I'm in the clinic. Unless he is the voices on hand medical personnel, that would kind of make a bit of sense. But, uh, work? Yeah, that... I work there. Excellent, Richard. What do you do there, exactly? I've... I'm a specialist in... Oh. In... Oh, wait. I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Familiar surroundings. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. Uh, feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Probably? Perhaps not completely. But let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where... Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. Okay, thank you very much, Doctor. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to talk to him some more. Get some rest. Oh. The medic bot will take you downstairs. Okay. Yeah, the voice of Richard here. Uh, it may not be the same guy, and it's so certainly something I will uh, look at, or look into, should I say, when I come to give my final thoughts on the game. But it sounds like the same guy who plays Geralt of Rivia in the Witcher series. I can never remember that guy's name. Um, but there's definitely some qualities to his voice that... Um, that are giving me that impression. Not complaining, though. Good voice. Ah. 
Nice little conversation to eavesdrop on. Very, very relatable to today's conversation regarding robotics and automation and AI and all that stuff. All right. Let's see if there's anybody in the waiting room that I can have a talk with. No. I'll be honest, I really do like the clash of the graphic styles here. You have that sort of polygonal, um, low poly uh, mesh, I guess, kind of style uh, for the characters themselves. With a really nice sort of lighting behavior, I might add. And, uh, and then somewhat photo somewhat photo real not photo real but you know a realistic aesthetic for the environment i like that that's a nice clash it's very good somebody wrote bald wrong ah damn i guess the education system doesn't improve much in 2048 all right so i can't really interact with anybody else here and there's some people outside so i'm gonna go out here good evening sir good evening follow me I will escort you downstairs. Thank you. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. Damn. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. The world's gone to crap in this game, it would appear. Bargain. Absolute bargain. Sir, please. Something to eat? Larson Newton is taking applications now. Valid nanoscan required. Mars. Our future. We didn't get there yet. Being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Interested? A nano scan takes no more than two minutes. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Lay the foundations for a new world. Tracy, James. Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your Base 5 Home Assistant. Today is January 11th, 2048. It is 7.33 p.m., room temperature 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Nice. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! Do I have a sort of an aversion to robots in this game? Let's examine. You have new cloud messages. I, cloud mess? Okay. Shards of glass. Potential source of danger, please remove. There will be time for this tomorrow. No, this is a this is a health and safety issue. You have children. Let's have a look outside the window. Window. View of Sector 2 Berlin Central, danger level one. I don't know if it's like uh if that's good or bad. If the lower the number, the more dangerous. Um is that not how the gift the DEFCON system works? I can't remember. But, uh, registered user, Richard Nolan, ID, blah, 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 had this window fitted with safety glass. The safest of glass. My bed. Last user, Tracy Nolan. Hey, I was just lying in that bed. Was I not? We have separate beds? Oh, dear. There's a bit of, uh... like separate sleeping in the household this piece of furniture has not been used for several days she's not been home where is she what did i forget in my accident simon 
Okay. Registered to Tracy, and she didn't take the robot with her, so she must be wanting to come back. Tracy, what is this oh. bot doing here? I told you. If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. It has a mouth. Hmm. Uh, is that a, that's a bicycle? Whose is it? Mine. Never used. Oh dear, Richard, it's all coming out now. The voice news. Uh, we can we can listen to the news later. This looks like the kids' room. Oh, let's play with some toys. These analog toys are out of date. Digital toys are available via the cloud hub. Oh. James Nolan, age five. Let's have a look. Oh. James is our son, Richard. Sir. Uh. Sounds like the wife was not happy with me there. What did I do, Simon? What did I do? Oh. Very cool. Kurtz, Kurtz Robotic Labs, Inc. Your autonomous cleaning assistant. Warning, this device is malfunctioning. Robot, can you please fix the... Ro oh, wait. Okay, I see. It's okay. I'll do it. It's fine. I don't want to put you in that position. Family photographs. We'll deal with the news later. Digital print. Recognized faces. Tracy Nolan, Richard Nolan, James Nolan, Herman Dawson, and Peter Nolan. Peter Nolan. Is that not a real name? Peter Nolan must be the old man, maybe. Maybe that's my dad. And let's interact. Oh, happy family. It's a wonderful family, sir. You think? You should take good care of them. Tracy, I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. There's no one in the room, Richard. Come on. Sir, do you not want to know where your family is? Yeah, I would. But I'd like to work it out for myself, thanks. All system information regarding this piece of furniture has been deactivated by Tracy Nolan, ID 87 456, Sector 2, Berlin Central. Okay, well, it's empty, and I'm assuming it's a lady's closet, so that's that's, that's odd. An empty closet. Huh. Almost empty. Okay. Nano scan report, let's see here. Tracy Nolan. Genetic defect zero, genetic caution pattern zero, difference to hap map three, ideal coefficient zero percent. Appropriation result triple A plus. I'm gonna take that for some reason. She's unemployed right now, Nine married scan. to me. That Mars nonsense. Can't she listen to me for once? Wait, she wants to go to Mars. Richard, don't you want to go to Mars? Nah, out my way, robot. I'm investigating. Anything in the bathroom? Wow, it's a nice big tub. Okay. Okay. Tracy. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. <laughs> yes, I can see that. <laughs> she wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. Oh, wanted to inform me. Fine, she can stay there. Oh wow. Where's the what son? About James. Oh, she took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. Hmm. Richard, I don't think, is very trustworthy of robots. Did Tracy say why she went to her parents? How do you mean, sir? What was her reason? She only told me to be here for you. Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? I can't say anything about that, sir. Wait, was she not in the car? Or you don't want to. I don't understand, sir. <laughs> exactly. Completely useless. Oh, <laughs> Simon, who gave you a name anyway? I'll uh, bet that it was awake. it was me. Oh, a call. Cloud call. Messages three. Okay, Lydia. Okay, we got Lydia Craig. We'll do these in date order. 
Uh, she is public, or she's a freelancer, she works for Secret, which doesn't mean that she's a freelancer, I'm confused. She's single, lives in Queens, New York. That's a mile away, or a thousand. Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? Did something happen? Call me, please. All right. Richard. Yes. This is not funny, okay? Pick up now. Did I do something wrong? Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Ugh, call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. Uh, excuse the expression and the insensity of it, but... Is she my bet on the side? Let's have a look here. Not as long as that bot snooping around. Oh, so I can call. Medicine center. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for the robot to go away. Some privacy, please. Not now. Okay, not now. That's fine. Let's listen to the news. Let's examine this. Your trusted news source for Berlin and the Western world. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, there has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. The smoke from multiple burning oil wells caused visibility in the region to decrease to almost 0%. Yikes. In Warsaw, a drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone has caused serious damage to the inner city. A 250-story administration building was destroyed by five missiles. Whoa. The Martian colony has begun testing its autonomous energy supply. So we are on Mars. Okay, good. The settler group Marset spoke at a press conference yesterday to make the announcement. According to the Marset representative, the colony is expected to be autonomous within a few days. In other news, it has been revealed today that last month, cyber criminals hacked the communication service of the cloud. The hackers created vast numbers of false identities and brought them into circulation. Experts believe that either an organized criminal network or foreign secret services are behind the attacks. A high-intensity search is on for the criminals. In the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, yesterday, a summit of eastern heads of state has ended. The members of the summit reiterated their determination to support and strengthen their fight for natural resources. They endorsed the possible use of weapons of mass destruction. Yikes. This is a clear escalation of tension between East and West. The President of the United States reacted shortly after with a video message. His avatar reported that the West would be prepared to meet any aggression with suitable measures. He also announced that the Mars colonization program would receive more funding in order to give the citizens of the West a perspective for the future. Mars. Our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Is this you? Marset Incorporated are accepting applications now. Valid nanoscan required. A nanoscan takes less than two minutes. Okay, so we did. This is a news oh, flash from okay. the voice. Turn off, turn off. Source of news for okay, so. We're on Mars. We're still kind of finding our feet there. For some reason, we've called it Red One, but I have a, I have a suspicion that that's the name of the colony rather than, you know, the actual planet now. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Food assembler. Let's examine this. Kurtz Nutrition Labs Inc. That's it. Okay. Would you like me to assemble you a meal, sir? Assemble meal? No, you can cook one though. Of course you can, sir. I'm just trying to lessen your workload. That's what I'm here for. Oh, you do have a mouth. Holy crap, and it moves. More of James's drawings. 7th of January. That's just a few days ago. Your son sends his regards. He drew you a picture. I helped him a little. Oh, really. that's nice. That's nice. 
Won't go for the door yet. I'm going to see what's on this table. Shard chess. That's new. Books. I like books. Well, I don't read them much, but they're they're good for decoration. Upgrade recommended. The contents of this analog data medium are out of date. A current digital version is now available on Cloud Hub. Otherwise known as Wikipedia. Geopolitical information has been deactivated for this map. A current map with political borders of the United States of the West? Okay. Oh, wow. So the world really has gone East versus West. That's very 1984. That is very 1984. Holy crap. Okay. Calibration key. The calibration key belongs to a humanoid bot of the Kurtz Robotics Base 5 series. Please follow the operations and maintenance manual. Kurtz Robotics takes no responsibility for damage or data loss due to improper repair. As any corporation would say. Apparently I rank highest on this. I've not played chess in many years. James beat me at chess. He's a clever boy. Oh, wow. And very adorable. What do you know about that? I play chess at a very high level, sir. The base five model... You have absolutely no idea what adorable even means. I like your Holy. son a lot, and he likes me. You're a pile of junk. Nothing more. Ouch. Easy, tiger. God damn. Last tuned nine years ago. Oh, this might not go well. Do you not want him to be happy? Oh, James plays. And Everything okay? <laughs> no. Somehow when my son plays the piano, it sounds like a harpsichord. That's amazing. What a, what a kid. Okay, let's go for the door. Nice apartment though, huh? Looks nice. I wonder if I can get around to repairing that bot. Risk of break-ins, very low. The security system of this door meets all standards of the United States of the West. All right, okay. Can I talk to you again? Yes, sir. Shut yourself down. Uh, sure. You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. As you wish. Where does he go? Okay, sure. Right, and now I can make a phone call, I guess. I want to be out of earshot. And look out the window ominously as I talk to a compadre in my phone book. Wow, Berlin. You know, I've never been to Berlin in real life. I've been to... Where have I been? I've been to Assen. No, that's not... That's in the Netherlands, sorry. Uh, <laughs> um... What's the name of the place I'm trying to say here? It's right across the border from Fals in um, in the Netherlands. And it does begin with an A. I'm, I'm positive, but I just can't remember what, what it's called. But I've been there. Hmm. This, uh, this is not what it looks like. Not bad. Nice view. Anyway, let's have a look at our, um, our phone here. Let's phone Lydia. Richard. Hi. God, <gasps> I was so worried. Hello. Where were you? I was in the hospital. What? Oh, why? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? I was unconscious. I had an accident, I think, on the M75. Something went wrong with the electronics. Oh, God, are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise, everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. It can't go on like this. I know. You have to speak to her. Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Really? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? I have a bot now. Me of all people. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. <laughs> That's nasty. What is she doing at her parents' place? I don't know, actually. 
I don't know why she's gone to her parents' place. What do I know? Did she leave because of that argument you had? I had an argument? Argument? Yeah, you're... a week ago? You complained about that for hours? <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared? No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Fine. You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's fine. And anyway, I have another customer. At this hour? It's lunchtime in New York. Richard. I'm a customer I to you? No working nights. Too many creeps. Get some rest. And remember, if you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Thanks. Just rub that in my face. Cigarettes, still a popular pastime in 2048, it would appear. Please don't open the door until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. 